안녕하세요 해운여군의 진이아빠입니다 오늘은 미국의 남부의 정말 명문 퍼블릭 아이비리그라고 하는 애리조나 대학교에 대해서 우리 한번 학교 담당자분을 초청해서 한번 이야기를 나눠보도록 하겠습니다 Yeah, hi, my name is Darby Simpson and I'm a representative 음. with the University of Arizona 자 그러면 이제 첫 번째 질문부터 드리도록 하겠습니다 이제 애리조나 대학교에 대해서 기본적인 어떤 사항들을 좀 이렇게 소개를 부탁드리겠습니다 So the University of Arizona is located in Tucson, Arizona. This is in the southwest of the United States. Uh, some of our rankings include we are a top 50 public school. We're also in the top 1% of global universities. So that's a pretty high ranking. Um, when you break down our student population, we have 51 thousand students so mm. we have a really large student population when you break that down we have around 40,000 undergraduates around 10,000 graduate students and around 7% of that is international students 음. 자 근데 이제 애리조나 대학교가 보통 이제 퍼블릭 아이비 리그라고 해서 미국에서도 사립대학교 아이비 리그는 사립대학교인데 어 공립대학교 주립대학교들 중에서도 이제 이건 아이비 리그급이다 라고 이제 불리운 대학교들이 있습니다 그 중에 한 대학교가 이제 애리조나 대학교인데요 어, 어떤 점 때문에 이렇게 퍼블릭 아이비 리그라고 불리우고 있는지 좀 소개를 부탁드리겠습니다 음. Yeah, so public Ivy leagues are prestigious public schools that have stellar repu reputations for 음. academic excellence so the University of Arizona has been deemed a public Ivy league because of our one, high academic rigor two, resources to spend on exceptional facility and faculty and three, we enroll the best and the brightest students. So those are some of the reasons that we've be, been deemed a... 그렇다면 이제 특별히 아리조나 대학교에서 추천하고 싶은 전공이 어떤 것들이 있을까요? Yeah, so some of our most popular majors, 음. I would break down into three categories. So the first would be space science. So we always say at the University of Arizona that space is wildcat country because our department of astronomy is among the largest and most prestigious in the United States. So some of the majors that fall under space sciences would be aerospace engineering, astronomy, aerospace sciences, robotics, and automation, and there's a whole list more, but mm. those are just some to give an example. Another category I would recommend is climate science. Because we are located in the Sonoran Desert, the University of Arizona has a long history of understanding client science mm -hmm. in a very interesting and unique way. Um, the University of Arizona has made leaps and bounds to be at the forefront of climate science and climate science research. So this is a huge, huge um, area of our university that just is continuing to grow and be a really really popular part of our university. Some of the majors that you can find in this program are going to be environmental science, hydrology and atmospheric sciences, mm. ecology and evolutionary biology, environmental engineering. Mm. Again, these are just to yeah. name a few. There are a ton of majors within the category of climate science, but those are mm. some of the most popular. And the last category I would recommend is the Eller College of Management. This is oh. going to be our business school. Mm. So the Eller College of Management is one of our most popular colleges. Eller is a top ranked business school within a research one institution. Um, we have some top ranked programs. So our MS program is our number one graduate program in the United States. Mm -hmm. We have a number 18 undergraduate business program in the United States. And we also have a number six master's in finance program in mm -hmm. the United States. So we have some really high ranking programs within the Eller College of Management. Mm -hmm. Some of the majors I would recommend within Eller would be accounting, business management, entrepreneurship, finance, marketing, to name a few. 자, 그렇다면 이제 애리조나 대학교 너무 좋은 대학교인데요. 어, 입학 요건하고 뭐 학비, 장학금에 대해서도 아, 이게 궁금합니다. 어떤가요? Yeah, so the admission requirements for an incoming freshman coming to the U University of Arizona are going to be your GPA, needs to be a minimum of a 2.75 unless you're interested in a competitive program and then that may need to be higher, but in general, 2.75. You're gonna need three years of completed coursework and then you're gonna need to submit English proficiency. Then if you look at scholarships, we have a really wide range of scholarships. This is based on GPA. So your GPA between a 3.0 and a 4.0 can get you between $5,000 and $23,000. Mm, so that's a yeah. really, really wide range of scholarship oh. and can award you a lot of money based on your GPA. 
these scholarships are auto awarded at time of admission so you don't mm. have to do anything else to apply other than apply to mm. attend the University of Arizona as for tuition tuition is broken down into tuition and fees is broken down into a few categories so tuition is just under forty thousand dollars then we have housing is estimated around seventeen thousand dollars that's depending on the housing that the student chooses of course health insurance is two thousand seven hundred and sixty five dollars scholarships can bring you anywhere between zero dollars and twenty three thousand dollars so again mm -hmm. that really really large range so that brings your tuition and fees to the grand total of anywhere between $36,000 and $59,000. 아, 참 지금까지 우리 애리조나 대학교의 우리 담당자 분께서 이렇게 학교에 대해서 소개를 해 주셨는데 너무 감사하고요. 다음 시간에 또 뵙도록 하겠습니다. 땡큐. 땡큐. 예, 바이바이. Welcome to the University of Arizona. Let's show you around. Our main campus is located in sunny Tucson, Arizona, and the first ever stop, it's going to be Old Main. Now, Old Main is dating back to 1891, where there was no electricity, and students rode horses to class. But now today, it houses our wonderful, friendly admission staff, in which when you visit, this will also be the first tour stop of your day. Just across the way, you'll find the Student Union Memorial Center. Now, in this four-story building, you can buy textbooks, you can grab food, you can hang out with friends, and you can check out one of our cultural and resource centers. There's a lot to explore as we head west past the historic district. From iconic red brick buildings to shady trees, it makes the perfect setting for relaxation and studying. This is the Arizona State Museum, the region's largest and oldest facility dedicated to its research and preservation for Southwestern history. Right across the street is Centennial Hall, a historic venue where you can catch touring Broadway shows. The Park District in Southwestern Campus is home to many dorms, alongside with the beautiful, stunning, and remarkable ENR2 building. The building demonstrates the university's commitment to environmental stability and is designed to resemble a canyon. At the edge of campus, we've arrived at University Boulevard. It's the most popular spot for students to hang out, eat, and the shop. It's also where many pep rallies are held for many home football games. One of the best things about campus is that you don't need a car to get around. In fact, it's easy to walk, bike, wheel, or take the streetcar. It takes you from campus to downtown and 4th Avenue. One of the best things about the streetcar is that it has stops all around campus. So come on, let's go. here at the North District. Arizona is one of the top research universities in the country, which means that we have a lot of groundbreaking work happening at places like Arizona Health Sciences and the Bio5 Research Institute. If you're a member of the W.A. Frankie Honors College, then you'll be spending a lot of time here at the Honors Village. Just a few steps away, the North Rec Exercise Facility offers fitness classes and exercise equipment for all students. The Eller College of Management, our business school, and the James E. Rogers College of Law are also located here in the North District. As we head down one of the many biking trails here on campus, let's take a quick stop. Here, we have schools and facilities for art, music, theater, and architecture, as well as the Center for Creative Photography, which was co-founded by the famed photographer Ansel Adams. Now we're back in the heart of campus to check out what's happening on the mall. Depending on the day, the mall is where you'll find club fairs, tailgates, or even students just relaxing and enjoying some Tucson sunshine. Let's head this way to show you one of the newest spots on campus. Now we're at the Student Success District. Spread across four buildings, it's designed to elevate every aspect of your success as a Wildcat. Meet with your advisor, get advice from a career coach, drop into a think tank tutoring session, and squeeze in a workout at Bear Down Rec. 
grab a study space at the library, or create something new using a makerspace or 3D printer. Just a short walk away, we're at Highland Commons. Craving a breakfast burrito? Whether it's 10 a.m. or 10 p.m., Highland Market has you covered. Here is our award-winning campus health facility, which offers medical care and mental health support for our students. Also in this part of campus are more dorms and our South Rec. You've already visited the two other recreation centers on campus. This one is the largest and is nationally ranked as one of the top student rec centers in the country. All over campus, you'll notice our blue light system. These phones connect directly to our university police department in case of an emergency. This is just one of many student safety measures we have on campus. This statue is pretty significant to us Wildcats. This is John Button Salmon, the creator of our motto, Bear Down. You'll hear echoes of Bear Down from the crowd as you're entering here, Arizona Stadium. On game day, you'll join thousands of Wildcat fans in supporting the football team, one of our 17 NCAA Division I sports teams. And there's another famous athletic facility you should know about right next door. This is McHale Memorial Center. Basketball is huge here for both our men and women's teams. The best place to cheer on our Wildcats is from the Zona Zoo, one of the largest student cheering sections in the nation. Bring your red body paint and prepare to get loud. Well, that brings us to the end of our tour. But don't worry, there is more to do and experience once you get here. Now, our University of Arizona is not just unique because of its history, but also because of its people, resources, and opportunities it offers to everyone. Now, we do hope you plan a visit with us because we would love to welcome you on campus. But until then, bear down, and we will see you guys soon.